Yellow duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish 2 The Tormentor. My name's Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. Alright, so last time we finished the uh, Flint Pit. So I think I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, gonna go over here to the quarry. And we'll try and see if we can do anything about that. Oh, well, also opening up the map a bit, seeing what's around. Oh, invite me in. That's interesting. Enter Long Hall in the Northern Clan's home. Only men come to greet you. You suspect that the women are behind the doors, preparing snacks and listening carefully. They trade tales with you, battle in the rocage. They know little about the raids that have plagued the hills. Their defenses were strong enough to keep them away. This has been fortunate, as they have found several veins of deep metal. Mm, try to buy deep metal? They don't want to sell any. They plan to have it alloyed with steel and enchanted. A powerful high status blade for any clan. Okay. About the area. Learn that there's a fire agent. Yeah, we we know about that. We have a quest. Uh, square go in the mine? Ah. Okay. You politely take your leave. They wave at you as you depart. They seem to actually like you, but who can tell with the row? Yep. There's no way of knowing with the row. I think this may have been the place that I came across at one point. Weapon and get there we go. Seriously? No. Oh. I messed that all up. Is that another basher, that's another basher. Get rid of the basher. Now there's another one, but this one looks to have a group of something with them. What are they? Hello? There we go. Ah. Scorpions. Lovely. Um. Just shoot. Everything will need to move closer. But that'll be fun. Poison scorpions? Apparently you can! Everybody can tighten up rank.
now we can split. There we go. Since we're down to a decent number managed. Uh, nope, we haven't been up here. Though. Okay. You enter the Corfax Quarry. It's a massive, glorious source of good building stone burrowed into the mountain walls of Lodaga. It's also a mess. There are no guards or workers. This clearing is used to load wagons with bricks and blocks, but everything is being neglected. It's not safe to leave your mines unwatched in the Rakaj. Some enterprising clan will rush in and claim it. Something's off here. Lovely. Uh, you emerge into a wide open area of the quarry and get an immediate uh, immediate idea of what is wrong here. There are several campsites, each marked with its own smoky fire. Each camp has a band of raiders, but they are all from different clans. Oh gosh. All want the quarry, but none are strong enough to claim it. Each camp sends out patrols, but none of them are strong enough to challenge the others. Reclaiming the quarry will take some fighting. That's what you get. Okay, one group down. Who knows how many to go? Door held shut by a massive padlock. It's heavy timber, would take in wood. It's heavy timber, and would take a long time to break down. To get in, you only need a key. Okay. Hello again! This is now our play. And you need to leave. Seriously, you guys aren't gonna approach. Do we have to approach? Okay then, we'll approach. Their mage. Because we don't need any of that. Oh, there's a scorpion. Where am I? What am I? Oh, yeah, I'm back there. Okay. There we go.
this one also. Nope. Yay. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just gonna deal with what's out here, you know? For the moment. No one will see us. No one will see us coming. We'll need a key. We'll need a key. Oh, they, I think they saw us coming. magic on their side. And poison. This is not gonna go over well. If we can distract them somehow. Healer, not our healer, not our healer. Get out of here, Scorpion. That's a good thing that I decided to get that ability. Darn it. Fine, you're gonna put spell shield on him. I'll just use the spells on you. It's just the middle camp, so let's go deal with these fine people. And what's inside the door? Middle camp and the door. Door to the room, to the room, to the door.
distraction. Your evasion didn't work so well. Not that time. All right. So. All we have left is in here. What I'm going to do. I'm going to save because this is going to be big. At the north end of the hall, you find that you have interrupted a brawl in progress. Warriors from two clans of the raiders are facing each other in a tense stalemate. It seems for a moment like they were going to be cautious and withdraw. When they see you, however, they si each side thinks you are there to help the other. They panic. So oh, great. Can you guys perhaps just like focus on each other for a moment? Yeah. While we're uh just taking you all out. Cause that would be nice if he could do that. That would be great. Healer has been silenced. This is not that good. Silence, let's roll. Okay. 
okay. Now that that chaos is done. I'm sure there's more chaos upstairs, but let's save. And then we'll head upstairs. Hmm. Doorway. 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 Behind you, you're shouting and the running of booted feet. Someone has entered the hall from downstairs. Lovely. And as it is, we have other friends up here. Don't forget. There we go. That'll help a bit. We gotta deal with these guys that are up here first. You guys just stay down there for a moment. Oh, great. Trust. It's locked. We enter the quarry barracks and confront the master of the raiders. He's a massive doggin. Brutally scarred and clad in steel. He's quite an imposing figure, which is why he thought that he could actually hold this claim. When he sees who you are, he doesn't react as expected. He doesn't draw his blade. Instead, he points at you and furiously shouts, Hey, Benight! You've come to a raided claim. I am Brooke of the Claw Clan, and I claim that you are not supposed to be here. Why is this a problem? Did you learn nothing of us before you came here? This claim was abandoned. Raiders came to claim it by Dagen tradition. And why is me being my being here a problem? Because the conflict here was legal. Raiders came to raid the old in the old ways. We were tested testing each other's strength. Then you just come in and start chopping everyone down. We are traditional raiders. Traditional or not, the queen would have punished any raiders in the rural lands. The Raiders tried to murder me. 
we know disgusting business. Outsider raiders, not proper duggins. Rasa Loweda has been killing them fast, and good for him. We have nothing to do with that. What do you know about the raiders who attacked me? They tried to recruit us, recruit all the Dagon clan. Most of us rejected them. They asked us to run off, run with a wolf in the hills, and we scared them off. And just for a moment, Brooke looked scared. He, was he wasn't supposed to say that. He covers quickly. I, I said wolves in the hill. Raiders going south had trained wolves. Not important. He's lying. We won't be able to get more out of him. Well, you're still raiders. Yes, and we attacked you. You attacked us first. Now this is your claim. I don't care about that now. We're going to pack up our treasures and go. Let me have your treasures and you may go. Thinks about this. No, still too much dishonor to bear. But I have a key. It will let you into some treasure barns. Far better pickings there than any in my little chest. Let us go and the key is yours. Fine. Just go. And don't come back. Doesn't take long. The clan and the claw clan raiders pack up their gear and weapons. Two of them lift the treasure chest. They're all gone within minutes. You don't survive a raider without being able to to move fast. As promised, Brooke tosses you a key. Seems like this quarry is yours now. Still need people to work it, though. Maybe someone in a zone can help. Oh, how nice of them to leave us sand scorpions in the barns and the rooms and the extras. Ugh. The other clan that was here. Are they just gonna go? I hope so. <sighs> it was a trick. I should have killed him.
Okay, then. Out the door. Seriously? Doesn't give me the chance to escape. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Am I gonna have to start that whole thing over? Okay. Let's see what people want here. Your mother speaks with you through the mirror. Her speech is fast, precise, and annoyed. She sounds more like her old self than you've heard in a while. Well, I have a spare moment to speak with you. I have had reports from the room. What is it, mother? Remember, your choices are being watched very closely. Our foes want to evaluate the resolve of Haven. I have some feedback on your choices. I will listen to and consider what you say. You should do more than just consider it. My wisdom is hard won. You've had many chances to pass judgment on those who have done wrong. You've shown showed an excessive tendency towards leniency, and it is good to be merciful sometimes. It allows people to surrender to us, knowing they might be spared. However, sometimes we must punish, otherwise our enemies will never fear us. Be less merciful. Does the Rukash respond well to mindless brutality? Some days, that is the only thing the Rukash respond to. They certainly will take advantage of any bit of weakness you show. I'm being just and I will continue to do so. Your mother gives you one of her loud theatrical sighs. Then you must learn from your mistakes on your own. I only hope Haven does not pay too much for your education. I must go. Nobody else? We're good? Okay. So, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!